All right. Got some StarCraft music for the day. Scourge fell is annoying, and Push Talos is annoying. But we get easy mode Seraph and easy mode clan combo. Easy mode starters, let's go. Volatile Gauge. It could be okay. The others aren't really doing that much. You have one consumable. It's a light stone casing looking like. Gauge could be annoying with Scourge Fell. <clears throat> but also it could be okay. Probably going to steel, steel. That magic is okay. We would go there unless we really need a banner at that point, which is very unlikely in this combo. Uh, this magic is is okay. This magic is good. Final magic is good. I mean, lightstone casing could could be the safe pick here, but volatile gauge. I mean, there's definitely wastes the lost luggage. I feel like if I took gauge, I'd be taking it just to take it. It's definitely not like the most powerful here. Go take the light stone casing. Unit draft. Yes. Could be tough. Toughest boss, toughest troop, 15 shards. Not necessarily the strongest starting deck, however. That'll take care of that. Trying to set up if I needed to kill a floor two collector. All right, we blast that molting imp for the absolute win here. Hmm. give us victory. So far so good. Fletching Imp. Vine Grasp, if I don't get Imperialist, could be okay. Also, pretty good into Pusher Talos. Rail Beater. Endless, please. I'll settle for that. Minus two. What else is it? Health? No, Rage and Attack. Yeah. Could do quick. It's most likely not that necessary. Putting it into the braille beater. We could. It would allow me to hell vent it. I already got it multi striking. I think it's okay. And, uh, I don't know. I don't really have to hit any more steals. Yeah, this could be the final steal, so why don't we just start you off with Rage. 
We're almost certainly scaling it with rage anyway. And we may as well uh, do this now. I doubt we need to take any more unit drafts. So we're not... One thing I will say is without hitting any more uh, Merchant of Steels, I guess we're settling for no Endless Unfledgling Imp. I have to imagine, though, that the plan here is just... Animus of Speed... Uh, like, I could always find a Transcend Imp and put it into the Fledgling Imp to make it Endless. Um... We're going to put you guys up here. But I'll, the thing is, I'll have Imperialist Shard Tail, so I'm going to be getting Fledgling Imps. Just a matter of... Uh, just a matter of when, I suppose. Need to get back to the Welder Helper and put it up here. I don't know if this is actually enough to uh, necessarily kill the boss, so we'll see. Alright, we can do this. And this. I think it should be enough to kill the boss. We're drawn back. Oh, there we got it. Nice. Alright. Boom. Let's still take another one of these. I mean, maybe I can justify, like, that steal sometimes. I don't know why I would do it, though. Taking a second Vine Grasp is probably okay. This is a run where we would have loved Ritual Battle. It's honestly been so long since I've seen that card. Um, do I need this for Pusher? I might. Might just be the safe thing to do. <clears throat> The plan was kind of just to, to hell vent that, and I think I'm sticking to that. Spell chain and pierce. Well, this is how we get endless on fledgling it. Boom. That's uh, perfect. So we'll just go. And the other route I can do is put the fledgling imp into the spike driver, then it's always zero. Then I don't. It might actually be okay to do that as well, you know. But I don't know. I think an endless fledgling imp is the way to go here. Then that way I don't have to rely on uh, on what's her name. We're gonna be going to Shardville here. Now I can I can help in the imp or the unit right now. I think I'm gonna go with the imp actually first. I think that's more useful to me. So we'll see. I can help out the unit later. I don't need two units at the moment. In fact, it kind of just slows me down to do so. Yeah, I'd rather just get this. So, let's go up here. This is our last molting imp, so we're just going to use it to kill that.
can uh, come back around with that. Might as well just... Uh, yeah. It's like, I can power up the Transcendent however I want. Try to keep uh, Shard Tail alive here. I guess she lives anyway. to that transcendent. Alright, we're gonna kill her without losing shard tail. It's pretty nice. Boom. Yeah. Like I said, I don't need a second one of those units till probably later. Ooh, adaptive. That has to be the call, I have to imagine. I mean, that's like... That's uh, pretty good. Like I said, you're never going to be hurting for units in this uh, combo. Probably the two best banner unit spread in the game. I could see arguments for Pip. Are Honestly, all three of these. Like, Ember, because I'm having trouble playing out my Imps, which kills my deck, and it would help me play the Root Seeds. Pip, because eventually I'll want an extra Pip, but if we're going to be hitting Caverns, maybe not the Pip. Uh, and then draw just to get to these fledgling imps faster. But if I don't get Imperialist offered, I'm probably just going to have fledgling imps that way anyway, but we'll see. It's probably still draw. Especially, I don't know though, maybe Ember because of freaking. You know, if I don't get Imperialist, then Scourge Fail could be annoying. I actually think it's Ember here. Scourge fell. We're going to want Ember. Ember kind of equals draw in some ways with the root seeds. And I just need to be able to play out my imps on the other floors. Now I could go either way here. I think I go to the right. Yeah. You know I'm taking that. Uh, you know, I'm not taking that. This is the large stone. Yeah, I think large stone I can make more use of than free stone most of the time. I've come to really hate this upgrade. It's just, like, so useless. It's so useless. We always want to play this because it kills imps. Especially if I'm, I guess I should check if I'm getting an imperialist or not. I'm not. Well, maybe by the end we will, but now it's down to a 50-50. I'll always want to play this. Adaptive Mutation eventually gives me back a bunch of health anyway. Pretty useless uh, shop, though, eh? Don't really know what putting 10 here gives me. I guess we could do it, though. There are some pretty nasty backliners. And if I don't have Imperialist, we'll probably want that. We definitely don't need the stewards, I can tell you that. Do I make a removal? Because we're going Hellvent for sure here. So, make one more removal. It's hard for me to get these stewards out if I don't have a pip upgrade. Okay, Mark of Invasion is pretty easy. I got 90 shards, so we're at least not giving an, another extra strike to Party Boy. But it is worth noting that Party Boy, I may want to set up bottom four. I don't know, with me being quick, it probably doesn't matter. I just need to kill him in one shot, really. Okay, I can do this and they die to quick. And that leaves me able to kill these. I can clear out the space here and give you some damage and just get rid of these. So far, Ember upgrades to call. For show. Sure. Alright.
Hmm. Okay, let's go like this. Damn, didn't get either vine grass there, huh? That sucks. Probably won't matter, but we really did want to get more uh, stuff here. Probably better just to do that. I don't want to lose damage. Get a hit in here. Dab out of do ya. Boom. My offense greater than your offense. Mm, branding rate could be give me an expensive way to second imp, but also it does give me a chance to give myself some defense other than adaptive. I mean, other than adaptive, I don't have defense right now, and I'm pretty squishy, honestly. I mean, I'm quick, so that is a form of defense, but I don't know. I think it's okay. Could also maybe to consume remove. These are bad. Awoken uncommons just are bad. I am debating if I want to helvent that unit now. Yeah, I was hoping to get a unit upgrade here. I got the Ember upgrade, but I don't really need gold. Um, let's just take this, just in case I bottom deck my stuff. And Let's take a look here. We're going way to Shardville. Oh, Ashes of the Fallen. Okay. Well, I will take my second one of these, I think. Am I going there? I don't think so. I am going here though, so I have one more cavern, so like I could hold out to try to get like a micro stone, but it's not that likely I get one. I think we just hellvent this now. We don't really need to use shard tail on this run. Uh multi strike. A little bit risky. I don't necessarily got good AoE. I already got like the best artifact I could ever hope to get. Seems kind of not worth the risk. I mean, we're going to be using them. But my defense, I don't know. Probably not worth the risk. I'm on 120 shards. Even though, yeah, like 10 health, they're just, just going to be too risky. We just go here. I guess I had the uh, Ashes of the Fallen though, so it's kind of okay, I guess. Try to get the rage while I can. Beautiful turn to draw that. Should I try to draw back to this? My deck isn't that big. I think I'll try to draw back to it.
Hmm. Actually, we don't really want to play the endless stuff here, and I'm not going to play that either. Eh, actually, I will. Kind of did that in bad order, but whatever. I don't think it'll really end up mattering. Really, I just want to make sure I'm getting back to my uh, thing in time. I think we rather have more rage, and we'll draw. Okay. I'm gonna keep that up there. Um, hmm. This doesn't really help me that much because the dude in the back, but whatever. Didn't get to eat up stealth, it's going to be rough there, but okay. Okay, we got the uh, thing here. It's quite a lot of health. Let's get a little bit more. Guess we got to go like that to eat up an extra thing of stealth. I have to imagine with 134, we're fine. He still took out 119, though. It's pretty wild, but sure. Boom. Not going to take another one of these. Um, this is like the same exact... Not It's like the same exact uh, thing I just got offered, right? In the same exact order, too. That's pretty wild. What are the chances? Uh, Adapt Invitation and Infinite Box are my consumables, actually. This is pretty good. Could have uh, maybe even taken that before, but it's okay. Uh, this could be okay. It would dilute the consumable pool, but do I really care when I have an Ember upgrade? Seems pretty good. Yeah, we'll take it. Now, I can go either way here. There's still a chance that I look for Endless. I think we just take the the vortex so we still really do want to thin this deck out uh holdover could be interesting okay we're not going to take those i could just hold this over it's not too bad of a call i think i do want to get this down in cost let's put 10 on that as well I don't want to surge stone anything. I do not want to uh, double stack that. I was hoping for a minus two or a consume remove, etc., etc. Let's let's make this cost less. I think. I want to be able to play it if I draw into it. Get rid of that. Um, I don't have that much else. I really need to get rid of. I guess this. I'm not even going to pay for removal, though. Maybe I should with uh, Mr. Fell here, but Miss, Miss Fell. Alright, really good turn to draw that. Uh, we do have... So we're, we're just going to not play that, I guess. I think I'm going to put her down here so I can get it for free. Either way. Um, I guess I can still play it then. I would like to play it, I think. Should have played those imps out, probably. No consumables. Is there any world where I can kill this? I do want to just kill those. I'll draw back to that. Alright, that is fine. Main thing we want to do is kill 
these dudes. One second. Alright, we're back here. Okay, so. Four health, so I can't do that. I think it's time to a bid, bid adieu to our fair queen here. 07. I got the rage, that's for sure. Pirate Chopper? Not today, they say. I can take that guy out at least. Why is that guy zero? I didn't draw into him, did I? Is that who I drew into? I must have. I somehow managed to uh, not take any damage from Scourges, which is very, very rare, I would say. Kill it now. Pretty good. We actually got about half of Fell's health gone already anyway. But that's uh, pretty nice. Alright, how about we do this? Uh-huh. Flip it back for maximum damage. Oh, yeah. Well, that works. And you are gone. Boom. That is almost enticing, but it's completely unnecessary, I think. Yeah. Now we got an interesting conundrum here. I kind of feel like we take the draw upgrade here. I don't really need more than one imp when I've got... Uh, or one space for imps when I've got the ashes. But my draw is a little bit limited. Consume remove. We could do that on... Uh, ooh... Okay, now I wish I took the Ember, but whatever. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to use that on the Adaptive Mutation. And that'll be a Hellvent target, I think. Could add some health to my... Uh, one of these. I think that's fine. Just might help with our high shards and divinity and stuff. Okay, I want to leave one impling around, but they're definitely the low man on the toting pole right now. Pretty sure this is the call, and honestly, I would hold it over if I could. We'll see, but I might just bring it back down to one. We'll see, just so I can draw into it and play it. So I'm not going to get endless on whatchamacallit. That is the worst. Well, permafrost is the worst, but I am still double stack in this context is equally bad. So I can still hold out for a holdover. I think I'm just going to bring it down to one. I don't need to get that fancy. Do I go full imp parade or just go royalty? My fear is that I can't play out enough imps. I don't know what imp parade gets me. I wish imp parade 3 was a bit better. <laughs> like, 
it's very rare that I want to take it. Like, I'm, when I take royalty, I'm simply saying, don't give me Imp Parade 3. That's what I'm saying. I don't care about the royalty effect. I wish Imp Parade 3 at least gave me, like, some health or something to, like, make it a little more justifiable. Like, I really don't want a Wilder Helper as well, especially when I don't have a pip upgrade. It's like... I'm pretty sure we're just throwing the champ away and... It's not like it's going to help me kill anything. If I don't have Imperialist, even when I have, like, Ashes of the Fallen, it's like... I'm just delaying her death probably to the point where the overcharged tanks can harvest. And it's not like she's going to do a bunch of damage. And, uh, I don't know. She'll die into this fast enough, but... She'll also just like, again, these have harvesters as well, so it's just adding harvest. We'll just do the royalty. It's not going to help me into like pure, it's not going to help me into anything. It'll hurt me into pyre wings as well. Spikes is always the one that is, I feel the most un generally untakeable on the final trial. I mean, the, the, this one probably would survive. This one could easily die. You know, that's... I, mean, I got the 30 armor and the 10 health. I can survive three rounds of attacking on this one. And I definitely have to find... Uh, when there's branding right, there's adaptive mutation. I got a drop grade. I got the wing steel. 26 card deck. Do I think I can take this? It just seems like bait, and, and I, yeah, I'm not gonna take it. I don't want to Ember Drain this turn. And we, we top deck the Adaptive, so I'm probably especially glad that I did this, because that is not the turn we want to be drawing that. Try to get rid of as many imps as we can here. <clears throat> Although, up here we would probably want to do that. Mm, could have used that. I mean, I could still play this for positive effect. Might as well. So I don't redraw them. Alright, that's decent. Do want the endless one coming back, I think, still. To remember that wing steel kind of makes this chain go hard. All right, I think just let her die. We aren't gaining anything from her. It's just kind of a liability at this point. Put that there so we don't redraw it.
Mm, that was probably not ideal ordering. Yeah, whatever, we're gonna blast this boss anyway. Nothing they can do. Boom. Important work. Uh, Pyre Grow... I don't know. It didn't seem like we were actually constrained by energy there, and I don't... But then again, we are getting lucky with, like, Awoken Rail Spiking into one of those uh, imps, so I think this is still worth. Probably dilutes the Consume Pool, but we don't really care about the Consume Pool. 30 in Purge, probably not happening. I uh, really don't need to do any of these. Uh, Light's Gift is pretty irrelevant. There's a Remove Consume that I could put on like the Rail Spike. Actually, that's kind of good, I think. We'll just bring it back down. It was plus 30, right? No, no minus 2, so we'll do that. Holdover. Okay, Holdover Important Work. Zero. We never did end up with Transcendent, so we can just remove all of the Queen Simps. Or at least that one. And then Hellvent here. This will be pretty easy. The whole run's been easy. I mean, this is one of the most powerful combos in the game. There's just. It's just a. It's a, it's a question of consistency. It's like, like, how can I miss when there's so many ways to to just go so hard on this, you know. Uh, I can get around the Ember Drain, but I'd rather just do that. I can still get around it, I guess. Let's go like this. And then do that. We got you. Um, I can still do this. Even with the sap. It doesn't actually help me that much here. Right, let's put some damage in here. Uh, I will do that. I don't have any consumables. It's okay, we got another adaptive mutation for these type of situations. Okay, we definitely just let her die here. I want to redraw that, I think, so we'll do that. I'm going to let go of the Endless One for now. I just don't really need to actually do that many procs. Probably should do this here. Hmm. That couldn't have gone any worse there, but uh, okay. That's good though, get both of them. shotting most stuff now.
We may be taking a little bit of pyre damage on the uh, whatchamacallits divinity, but what are you going to do? Just because I do only have four hits, so there is going to be that problem. Hear me out. What if he were more dead? You ever think of that? There's going to be waves where I do need to do a certain number of hits. I keep drawing this in very unideal turns. to do anything down there. Oh well. Give you that first. Let's see what this gets me. Nothing really. this. At least we're breaking all of that. I mean, I could keep her alive, but I don't really know if that's really, like, doing anything for me. Just trying to get this damage up ASAP. We're going to be giving them damage shield this next turn, unfortunately, unless, unless anyone sees an alternative way out of that. Mm, it's probably in my interest to do that. Just give them one less damage shield. I'm gonna try to flip. I'm gonna flip uh, the adapt mutation on both of them here, just so I keep health on them since it's a sweeping attack. We're actually killing them all here. I don't really know how that works. All oh, right, four hits. So I have a good amount here. Then may actually need to like. Kill some of these. This we can do here, though. 
Alright, we got enough. We're gonna survive. Our units will survive now. Now it's just a matter of how much can I leak. I got 137 fire health. Can probably leak a bit. Just gotta make sure we're not leaking like a shade wings or something. Okay, we're killing. We're actually okay here because we're freaking like one shotting them, so that's okay. Ooh, that's good. Draw seven. If I could redraw that twice, I could kill that, but I think I'm just going to do this. Because I can probably one-shot all four of them, and that's fine. Well, probably no need to hit my own guy here, so we'll just do that. Make sure we draw. Yeah, we're actually fine here. The The only waves that had five, we actually were able to take out an enemy, so you're A-OK. -okay. Give them all the armor they need. Uh, let's go ahead and draw them. Spread the love a bit. Alright. Might be able to get a uh, flying kill if I can get two hits in. Yeah, if I could kill this guy somehow, but I don't think there's any world I can do that. Just get our damage up. the damage on the one in the back up. Alright, here I can get another hit in and that should do it. Or, it will, it will soon enough here. Almost there. Yeah, we got it. But we're not finished yet. How do you like it, Divinity? Boom! Yep. Hellhorned. How can you not love Hellhorned? Another hard-fought hard victory. Such is the uh, case with a lot of Monster Train runs. You could definitely go harder than me, especially if, uh, if you could like self-infuse a f fledgling imp. And uh, maybe find endless. And then you'd be golden. I mean, there's quite a lot you can do on this run. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.